Well, again, I appreciate everybody uh, coming out today. My name is Ryan Wagesback. I'm vice president uh, at NATA. Um, I've recently taken on this role as last year in November as an executive. Just recently rolled out of industry of 18 years. Um, so again, my idea of understanding the advocacy portion of what we do and the real world portion of what I used to do of building uh, 135 management companies, trying to relay that seamless experience for the consumer, right? So we, as we all know, 135 operations, we kind of live in the 1960s, right? We're trying to take them out. And companies like Avinode, kudos, right, are working on ways of providing products to the market so the operators and the charter brokers can provide a great experience to the consumer. What I'm finding is that when we're not providing a seamless experience to our consumers, they're finding other solutions. Illegal charter, questionable, you know, gray market. So we want to empower the 135 and the charter broker community. So some of the th challenges that 135 operators are focusing or are, are, are hit with, of course, is the qualified pilot shortage and owners wanting more revenue with their aircraft. Um, and then, of course, the effects of illegal charter. So when owners are wanting more revenue for their aircraft, right, they're having to go through the conformity process, they're having to jump through all these hoops, which is downplaying and minimizing their effects of, of capturing more charter. Um, again, companies like Avino and then the products that you offer are spectacular from this perspective of giving management companies the avenues to, to capture more revenue for their consumer. So, you know, we're seeing the commercialization of the 91 space. Everybody familiar with the 91 space? It's just the private sector. So it's the Uberization of that, that market. That's concerning to an ATA, simply from the safety perspective. Um, again, 135 operators do a lot of, jump through a lot of hoops to remain safe in the current market space. Um, again, I say this, and we preach this to our committees and out in the market, we've got to start embracing more innovation, right? We believe as a 135 operator, you can be innovative and still adhere to the regs. There's a lot of misconceptions in the market that you can't be innovative and adhere to the, the, ar you know, the archaic um, uh, FAA regs, and we totally disagree. People are doing it, operators are doing it. So we're working on tools uh, to, again, to elevate the market. We've provided tools through our website. So um, uh, 135 operators or charter brokers can search tail numbers to make sure that aircraft are on an AOC or certificated operator uh, certificate. Charter brokers are utilizing this solution so they know that they're putting their con customers in correct aircraft. So we're actively working that. Um, there it is. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>